Recently, yeah. Taylor Swift had to cancel a few of her tour dates from the Eras Tour in Austria due to a foiled terror plan against her fans. There was a plan to kill thousands of her fans. Uh, they had chemical bombs and planned to drive a car into 20,000 of her fans before attacking with machetes and knives. This is allegedly an ISIS plot, and they found out more information about the suspects. Um, they were all teenagers, and they actually were all hired Cri as staff. We have total issues. Thank you. First crisis party. Ah, <laughs> ISIS attacks. Terrorism. <laughs> we Yay. Okay. As we say, we have tonal issues on here. That being said, continue. Um, they found the second suspect was hired to work at the stadium during the concerts, which is insane. Uh, the two men involved planned to kill as many as possible using knives and self-made explosives. Chemicals were found at one of their houses. A third teenager was also arrested. According to AP, he was, um, I think they were 18, 17, and 19 years old, respectively. So that's basically all we know about it so far. She had to cancel her dates in Austria. Some people are saying that that was actually planned and she had prior knowledge so that she could fly back to the U.S. and make an appearance at a Kamala rally. I, like I haven't the, seen that. Oh, wow. I haven't I like seen any proof meme. of that. I yeah. like the meme from the Babylon Bee. It says, Taylor Swift's private jet opens fire on ISIS fighters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would be iconic, actually. Taylor Swift saves the world. <laughs> she's, she's, she's like pay, playing bad blood in yes. the fighter jet dropping... Yeah, drone strikes. Bad um, new <laughs> but some of her fans uh, have posted some really quite insane takes about the motivations behind the attack. One of them said, I can't stop thinking about the fact that women found the safest, most joyful place to revel in being together and dressing up and singing, and men hated it so much they wanted to murder them for it. This is your brain on modern day intersectionality. This is the one that I yeah. tweeted about. I said, I read this and I thought it had to be, it would have been great satire if it was satire, but. It was an incel terrorist in attack. Intersectional, intersectional feminism in modern day Marxism doesn't allow you to criticize ISIS because of where, you know. Um, That's Islamophobic. It's Islam yeah. Islamophobic. Right. Where you that, fall right. on the oppression scale doesn't allow you to criticize them because the people that they were, you know, attacking fall farther down on the scale. So yeah. what it does allow you to do is criticize their gender more broadly because it's always cool to attack men. Another Swifty uh, regarding all of the attackers being teenagers said, all of them being teenage boys, we're so cooked. Influencers like Andrew Tate, Aiden Ross, and these alpha male podcasts have radicalized young boys into being raging misogynists and potential criminals. They're blaming Andrew Tate and Aiden Ross yep. for an ISIS plot. Come on now. It's it is one of those things where you have to actually realize just how far the world, how how, bra how much brain rot there is in the world now. Yeah, yeah there's a lot. Like the the things people believe. Yeah. Like they all had hair too. Like all people, people with hair are terrorists. Exist. How do these people exist yeah. and like operate in the real world? I mean, I guess it's yeah. not really the real world. It really is Twitter. If if you if you interacted with somebody in the real world and they said this, that would be bonkers. Yes, that would yeah. be absolutely bonkers. It is kind of the sign, like it, like I was saying earlier, like if you find yourself on Twitter for too long, yeah. and you find it affecting your mood, get off yes. and go do something else. Otherwise, you're liable to post something like this. Yeah, there was also um, a similar tweet that I sent you about men wanting to rob women of female joy. Um, <laughs> in regard to that that workplace TikTok trend, oh, I don't I know don't if you guys it. Oh, oh, I yeah, saw I do that. I saw that. this. Uh, this they, this <laughs> guy, if it's the same one, has done multiple of these, and they're always really, really funny. Yeah. Should, we, should we show this? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's fun. Here we go. Hot mom and a mini dress. Hot mom and a mini dress. <laughs> Betty Boss said no pants. <laughs> he did a great job. He even like lowered the audio yeah. as he's walking in. So there's some production value on this. Great. 
Jim the Pig got freaking back. Okay, we've seen Jim it. He goes on. He goes on. This is his bit. I found it extremely There's funny. But when he does this person he's... said it should disturb everyone that men have such emotional, irate reactions to female joy. There's another one he does oh where these girls are are like doing a tiktok dance in the middle of a walkway like of, a, of like a street walkway and he's just in a car looking at them like he's at the red light like <laughs> what the hell are you doing i mean i guess okay they're trying to connect andrew tate to this because of his misogynistic comments not because of the fact that he is muslim yeah they're, like they're totally disconnecting the fact that yes, he you can't criticize is that. of the same religious faith as the attackers it's only because he is a misogynist that he has influenced the attackers. Because even though we know no personal information about these people, yeah. right? Like we're still, we still basically have no idea yeah. as to the origins of the attack plot or who these people are or who radicalized them. But their immediate assumption is it was the red pill YouTubers. Yeah, like like I doubt. <laughs> well, is it, I isn't doubt, it always, you know? I, I doubt ISIS is sitting around watching Andrew Tate videos. I, you know? I, I would be surprised <laughs> yeah. to learn that. I, I, I would mean, like to hear these women's, uh, opi like her opinion on ISIS brides. What is that? Like the the women of ISIS, like the women who. Oh yeah. oh. Like well, they just have internalized misogyny. Yeah, no, so. or no, they were tricked. Most likely, they were mm -hmm. they were tricked into supporting something. But <laughs> you can't actually say that something because you can't criticize Islam because that's Islamophobic. But you can criticize men, so you can't criticize the right. men for mar or for marrying them. You can criticize the fact that they're men, but not their religion. Right. Because it falls yeah. higher on the oppression scale. Also, after the shows were canceled, a bunch of Swifties uh, gathered in the streets of Vienna to sing songs from the Eras tour together. And uh, yeah, here we go. My thought is like, why haven't the police stopped this? They're trying to recreate the concert experience. How do they pick what song they're going to sing? They're yeah. they're collectivists. There, is, they have a hive mind. It's the Swifty hive mind. They just <laughs> they all they go on. Their brains go online, and they all like know. A, is there like a head Swifty that gets to like disseminate the information <laughs> to everybody? A Swifty Nazi. Did they start? They probably just start. Did they start with the opener, "Cruel Summer"? Maybe that's what it is. Because at this point, we've all seen the concert. If you watched, I mean, I've watched I it. It's on. I have it's, not seen the concert. It, did you guys review the Eras Tour movie? We have it, but no. I I saw it in theaters. Saw it in theaters. Yeah, yeah, I saw it in theaters. There's a twenty. Uh, Brian Bledsoe said, new crisis actor here. I've watched a lot on YouTube and this has quickly become my favorite channel and Let's turned go. on all notifications. Watched your first episode and it was funny seeing you all distracted by the money guns. Yeah, now yeah. me and Mary are dead inside and the money's flying, <laughs> money's going everywhere. I'm like, anyways, this thing happened today. Doesn't affect us Doesn't anymore. Doesn't affect us at all. Thank um, you for becoming a crisis actor. Are you related to Dan Bledsoe? I doubt that okay. he is, right. but I guess maybe we'll get confirmation <laughs> one way or the other. But my thought is like, why are you gathering in the streets and becoming public a targets target? yeah. for the people who were planning to kill you upon thousands? Like that seems like something the police it, it should- It seems unwise. <laughs> stop you from doing. Well, what but, was like, so is that like a did, what did what did America do after a nine eleven? Did we did we collect? Uh, did we all kind of gather in in certain locations? That probably would have been unwise too. You know, this is Swifty's nine eleven. Is this Swifty nine eleven? This is Swifty nine eleven. I know that we're kind of treating it with some. I don't know. We're we're not able to like take it seriously because of their takes. Being Nothing feels so real anymore. Detached That's, from reality. Like, does that happen to you guys? Like, uh, the internet kind of like there are days where I have takes where then after I say it, I go, holy shit, I need to get off the internet for a while. Yeah, yes. like like it's it's devoid of a certain level of humanity. It and is, but not because it's it's meant as something mean, but just my humor is very dark to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it just crosses a line and I pull myself back. Does that happen to you guys? Oh, uh, I usually keep myself in check. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's me. Did, like, do you ever find yourself like worrying about like how you react to things online? Yeah. Well, th I think that's why I try not to engage much, especially. I'm not even saying like react 
like by responding, I'm seeing like your actual reaction internally. Oh to things. yes, not like I'm, okay. I'm very good about not okay. responding. Okay, like, I'm, right. I'm always like, look, what what does this thing this say? Like, um, you know, write a, you know, if you feel really strongly about something, write it in a letter. Wait ten days. Yeah. Uh, if you still feel the same way, then mail <laughs> Wait, it. Yeah. I take that approach to just about everything online. I'm sorry. Do you guys remember back in I think 2017 when um, Ariana Grande's concert in Manchester was bombed? by yes. Islamic terrorists. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people forgot about that. And um, I, I, it's been like eclipsed by so many other things in the news, but I remember that because of this, this plot being reported on. And I looked it up and I'm seeing all of these headlines from back when that happened, um, basically saying that the people who were hurt the most from the bombing were Muslims. Um, <laughs> oh my god. This headline Woman from Ariana Grande concert perfectly shuts down Islamophobia. Why Islamophobia is the wrong response to Ariana Grande concert bombing? This isn't the time for Islamophobia. Why Ariana Grande uh, concert bombing hurts the Muslim community most? They're always like, it's not the time for misogyny. It's not time for. Do they, do they ever say, like, this is the time for that? <laughs> Like, <laughs> now is the time. Now is the time. <laughs> I don't think that insane. ever happened. I don't think anyone's ever oh, done look, that. No. Islamophobic attacks in Manchester surged by 500% after arena attack on Ariana Grande concert. Like, all of the headlines were focusing on the Muslim community yeah. being the victims, not the actual people who were murdered that day. Well, I mean, that, is, is, that is just, that is the internet response. It's a mic, her, her response, these insane responses that she had are just a microcosm of that mm -hmm. not realizing that there's a larger qualifying factor to this the the religious aspect and boiling it down to their innate <laughs> sex characteristics yeah it's absolutely insane yeah i'm i'm wondering how they feel about the fact that she hasn't made a statement yet like the, yeah. the swifties were you know kind of pressuring her to make an official statement especially because she canceled the concerts she hasn't said anything yet. If I were in her position, I wouldn't. No. Especially because this comes just after the stabbing on her on her young mm -hmm. fans as oh. well in Southport. And her response to that was also attacked for many different reasons. They were like, why aren't you talking about this humanitarian disaster or that one? You should be addressing every every single victim group in the entire world before you address this one because it was tangentially related to you. So in her position like the smart thing to do is probably just to st like lay low and like stay quiet and off of social media i don't know if that's what she's planning to do but yeah. it's just it, it just shows you the brain rot that happens if you spend too much time online yes when you, oh, when you totally. let intersectionality affect you that deeply and you can't look yeah. at the, the story for what it is but back to your question you said so i get what you're saying now yes yeah, sometimes i just have to get off social media spend a few days off of it because if not you're like is this really is this really the way the world is? Yeah. And then once you're off of it, you're like, no, it's not. The it's way the not. Mm. Well, yeah. It, 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 yeah, it's like, you know, what you're all saying. We're can't talk, but you guys were saying, but yeah, sometimes if it's something that say, because we all have triggers, if we're honest, you know, but yeah. it's something that it's like, and you'll read something about a group of people, maybe you fit in or whatever, and you're like, oh, like everybody feels that way about yeah. me, and like you, you gotta know, get off the internet. I gotta yeah. get off the internet. Yeah. 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 That's the healthy response. And I, all I've got to say is like, what is all the attacks on the Swifties? Leave the Swifties alone. <laughs> We've definitely made attacks on the Swifties. But I mean, I mean, we're, like, we're guilty. I of mean, that. no, I mean like literal. Yeah, attacks. we mean verbal. Yeah, yeah. they mean you physical. mean just being silly. Like I mean, we're all bad. Yeah, it's not about them being Swifties. It's that she's going to draw a large crowd and large yes. crowds are the targets of terrorists yes so. yeah i don't think it's that they're offended by female joy they're like no. i really hated that first album i had to take, a, <laughs> take a why guess. did she stop being a country singer <laughs> that's the maybe that's the real issue they don't yeah. like that she went pop they don't like her set list yeah thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys